Hey everybody, Chem Class Rules here. Today we're going to show you the making of the chemical traffic light. Now for this reaction, you really only need four ingredients, water and indigo carmine that I just added to the flask there. Indigo carmine is a blue food dye and it's also an acid base indicator. I'll give that a little swirl to get it nice and mixed up. The next ingredient is sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is also called lye and it's in most drain cleaners. We'll give it another swirl here to get it nice and mixed. And it's also going to start to show us a little green color. The next thing we're going to add to our flask is going to be some sugar. It has to be glucose or dextrose or reducing sugar. It can't just be regular table sugar. This creates what's known as a reversible oxidation reduction reaction. When we shake the solution up, we're adding oxygen to it, which oxidizes the indigo carmine from yellow to red to green. And then, as the solution sets, the sugar reduces the indigo carmine from green to red to yellow. That's the reason for the color change. So there we've drawn out the different stages of the molecule for you. And there we have our final solution. Starts out yellow, give it a little shake incorporates some oxygen, oxidizes that indigo carmine up to red. The sugar reduces it back to yellow. If we give it a little more vigorous shake, we go through red and get to green. And as it sits, the sugar reduces it from green down to red. And then if we let it sit, it will come back to yellow. Here we are pouring it out. You see the yellow in the flask and the green in the large beaker. But once we stop adding oxygen, it goes right back to red and then to yellow. Thanks for watching, guys.